Hey YouTube, I apologize, it's been a while. It's actually been a busy week, busy month actually, with whole DEF CON and all that stuff going on. So I was thinking to myself, what would be a cool video to upload? And I just recently got the Chameleon Ultra, so let's go ahead and dive into that. Welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is David and I'm a red teamer. My red teamer means that I hack or break into my client's buildings. And in today's video, we're actually gonna be seeing a device called the Chameleon Ultra. This little device is an RFID NFC cloner and writer. Um, it is very similar to what others may know in the industry as a Proxmark or as well as a Flipper Zero. All right, so now we have the, the setup so you guys can see. All right, so a little disclaimer, I have uh, played around already with the Chameleon, so I did open it up a couple of days ago, so this is not really an unboxing. Um, however, let's go ahead and go through a few things. So when you get it, you get it in this really nice little box. I mean, the Chameleon is, is super tiny, as you can see. Then, then it actually comes with the, the cable and a screw with a couple of screws for it. So when you first get it, um, you may be confused because it actually doesn't come with any instructions or anything whatsoever. So you might be a little bit lost. Um, however, thankfully I came across a group of developers that they currently are in the process of creating an app for you to, to interact with the Chameleon Ultra. And uh, it, you can actually have future access to a lot more interesting things. So um, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna get your phone. You're gonna go to your store. In this case, I'm actually using an Android phone. So in here, we're gonna type in Kaboom Ultra, and it's gonna be the first application that's gonna pop up. I don't know if you can see it there. But yeah, it's already in the in the Play Store and also in the Apple Store for those who, who use Apple. So we're gonna go ahead and install it. Oh, there's actually an update. Let's go ahead and update that. So then once it's updated, you're gonna open it and clearly nothing is gonna show up because we haven't connected the Chameleon. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm using a USB-C to USB-C cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it this side into the Chameleon. Now the Chameleon is a cool little device, but by all means, it's not a replacement to the Proxmark. I actually see it more as a complement uh, due to the small size and four factor. I mean, the Proxmark, the Proxmark at the end of the day is the, the powerhouse. I mean, it can handle pretty much anything you throw at it. But in terms of performing red team engagements on how small and covert the little Chameleon Ultra is, I mean, it, it just can't compete. It's extremely tiny. So let's go ahead and plug it in here. So currently refresh, nothing is showing up. So then once we plug it in, Press refresh, and there you go. So you're gonna see two icons. On the left-hand side, it's actually showing up with a USB connection. On the right-hand side, it's actually showing up with a Bluetooth. If yours is not showing up with a Bluetooth, you're actually gonna have to uh, open up your Bluetooth settings and pair to it. If it prompts you for a password, the password is actually gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. So then once you pair it, then it should be able to, to pop up here in your Bluetooth settings. Actually, let's go ahead and, and do that right now. I'll go ahead and, and disconnect it, press refresh, and right now it is popping up. But currently it did go to sleep mode on me, so if I press refresh, it's not gonna show up. In case that does happen, all you wanna do is press refresh and the button at the same time, and there you go. So you tap on it before it goes to sleep, and there you go. You're fully connected to the, to the Bluetooth on the Chameleon Ultra. So I've already played around with it a little bit, as I mentioned before. Um, here are the slots. It'll show you indicating which ones are currently used. I did say did a scan and, and saved it onto the end, end of the slot. 
So we're gonna go ahead and look into that. So when you first connect your Chameleon as well to the app, the cool part about this app is you can actually update the firmware by pressing here on the bottom. It'll check if it's up to date. If it's not up to date, we'll actually update the firmware on the Chameleon for you. So if you go here into the slot manager, we can actually see all the slots. And then if you actually type in on the little setting, you can see the different settings that you have inside of the inside of the of the app for the slots. So let's go ahead and go back. And then saved cards. It's for the cards that you currently have saved on your phone. If you if you want to actually uh, upload a saved card, if you already have one that you scanned from somewhere else and you and you dumped the card information, you can actually upload it here and save it onto the slot. And the dictionary says for your dictionary is for the for the uh, cracking attacks. So here is for you to read if it's high frequency or low frequency. And this is for writing cards. Um, the Chameleon Ultra is a new device. It just literally came out a couple of weeks ago, so it's still in heavy development, but they are currently working on it and doing updates on a daily basis. So I do expect that feature to be readily available pretty soon. By the way, kudos to the developers behind that. I mean, they're, put, they're, put, they're really putting a lot of work into that. So here you have a couple of options. You can change the theme. It usually, when you install it the first time, it actually comes in light. You might want to change it to dark so it doesn't burn your eyes. And then in the bottom you have activate debug mode. That's for developers mostly. So um, here I have a card saved. Uh, during my trip to DEF CON, I actually had my Flipper Zero with me and uh, I got together with a couple of friends, a uh, message through, through Discord, and a buddy of mine, which is in one of my hacker groups, uh, Philip, a shout out to, to Philip. He gave me some instructions for me to um, crack or clone my hotel room key. So once I was able to do that, then from the Flipper Zero, from the Flipper Zero I was actually able to write the content of the car that I cloned onto my uh, replica of a Fitbit. Uh, this is an RFID bracelet. You can actually get this at redteamtools.com. Shout out to them. So then I was able to clone the card from the hotel, uh, the, the hotel key card onto this. And then from here, I was able to pretty much access my hotel room, the elevator, wherever I would go, I was, I was able to use this. So the content of the hotel room key is still on this. So let's go ahead and scan that now. I'm gonna place that here. And then I'm gonna read. And then here you have the tag info shows that it's a MyFair Classic 1K. So from here, once you read it, you can actually check keys from dictionary. So it's gonna start checking the keys that are currently to, 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 to retrieve it from the bracelet. So that's gonna take, a, take a, about a minute or two, so I'll go ahead and speed this up. All right, so it's done doing that. So then, as you can see, we only have partial keys. So let's go ahead and run that with recover keys option now. So as, as, so as we can see here, we were able to successfully dump all the contents of the card so now when we press dump card we have the option of either saving it in a file or saving it within the app in one of the slots so you have the option of as save as bin or to save press here type in uh, test save press ok so that's it we, we've already saved it so let's go ahead in here and let's say for example we have one of these empty slots we go ahead and let's say slot number five. We'll go ahead and tap here. And then there's our card. We press test save. It's gonna save, and there you go. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have for today. Just a little video overview on the Camille Ultra and its capabilities. Uh, hopefully I'll see more improvement from, develop from the developers on the app that they've created. Yeah, kudos to them. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Um, if you liked the video, please go ahead and, and 
smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe catch you guys in the next one you in my pocket spot get us bay miss you every day you like my oxygen make it seem like the barge in them got my heart no barge in front of to the flow to the couch